I think I milled off, but I don't really know. I must not have, because I'm not in Act 1. But that uh, should be fine. Not very full. Um, yeah, so uh, we just had a weather event where I live. Uh, big rainstorm. The weather did a big mad and the sky came down quickly. So currently, my internet is out. Uh, fortunately, my power is on. Uh, I could still record this if my power was not on because my laptop battery is full. I can't um, carry anymore. But better that uh, I don't have to use the battery. I think. Anyway, uh, in my, where I live, well, yeah, sure, in my apartment complex, uh, there are a lot of down tree branches, and some people's cars I got hit by some tree branches. Uh, but not mine, because I park in the road. Uh, a fence fell over. Uh, in the nearby neighborhood, some fences fell over, more tree branches. There were strong winds, uh, up to 80 mile per hour gusts. And the, apparently the window in my bedroom leaks uh, pretty badly. And so I peeled up, you know, I could just be like, hey, apartment complex people, come fix this. Uh, but I don't like having people come into my room. Uh, so if it's something that I think I can manage, then I'll just manage it. Uh, like when my toilet, uh, what's it called? I don't know what it's called, but I fixed it. All the, the bits in the reservoir needed to be swapped out because they were broken. So I did that. My garbage disposal uh, had like something caught in it, so I, I uncaught it. That sort of thing. Uh, and so here I have water in my carpet and pad. So I peeled up the carpet. I'm gonna have to get a knee kick to put the carpet back. Uh, let's see. Why do I have the map on? So I peeled up the carpet and I laid down I think it was four pounds of baking soda because uh, I don't have anything to soak up the water with really and in the morning I'll lay down another four pounds of baking soda uh, to soak up more of the water and prevent mold um, and also I don't care about like the mold per se so much as the odor. Uh, I have some collectibles that I don't want to have mold odor in. And I guess really that's the same thing. The mold and the odor are the same. Oh, interesting. I have the javelin skills. Um, the mold and the odor are the same thing. But the odor is what would devalue product potentially so I'll lay down some more baking soda I have a fan on pointed at like the wet spot um, and I bought a dehumidifier and put it in that room it's just a cheap one well, cheap it was $50 uh, 
But I had overtime on my paycheck this week, so it was okay. I can afford to spend $50 on a dehumidifier. And now I have one, I'll probably just run it always. Uh, that would let me run my AC a bit uh, warmer without having to worry about the humidity. Especially, well, I was going to say especially in the summer, but just year round here. Um, I got off early at work today. I got home at like 3.30. Uh, and I have tomorrow off, except I'll probably be going in. And then I believe I have Saturday off and I don't think I'll be going in. And then Sunday I should be like actually off for sure. But yeah, the, the other uh, leak that I had from the storm was the wind was so strong that uh, the rain was hitting the sliding glass door on my patio. Uh, which has a roof over it. Uh, well, a roof. It has the upstairs neighbor's patio over it. Um, what's it called? And the, the rainwater was like hitting the metal runners on the sliding door and bouncing up under it into my room. And so I got a bit of water in that way, but that one I just soaked up with a towel. I am overburdened. Yes. So probably what I'll do is um, like I'll fix the, the carpet myself and then the next time that it leaks when everything's all fixed and looks like I haven't messed with it myself uh, so the next time we have a big rainstorm then I'll tell the apartment people to come fix the leak But I don't, I just don't feel like having them come right now. Also, they're going to be really busy with all kinds of other claims right now. You know, people are like, oh, I had a tree branch through my roof. Oh, you're, a tree hit my car. My insurance company needs to talk to your insurance company. Oh, my roof leaked. My window broke, etc. So. I've had them do repairs before, or a major repair. Uh, there was a burst pipe in the, in my closet, above my closet. And so they had to get a plumber in to fix the pipe. There's a one inch pipe leaking into my closet, pretty substantial amount. And uh, so they tore up all the carpet in the closet and uh, tore out the whole wall. I had a fan in my closet for like uh, a week and a half like a shop fan Hello. and then they were in and out again for like a week and a half just you know today we tear out the wall today we rebuild the wall today we do rip up your carpet today we're checking how wet it is da 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 So 
really, I'd rather just fix the thing myself and not have to deal with all of that. Even though I'm not home. So I probably wouldn't really have to deal with it, but then they would be like trying to call me and stuff. And I'll just get some hands-on experience on someone else's property. Managing some relatively minor repairs and maintenance. And if I can't get the carpet back down myself, uh, then I'll just report it and be like, oh, hey, by the way, uh, there, my window leaked and I, I filled up the carpet. I didn't have a chance to tell you until now. Please come fix it. I only just now noticed that my carpet is wet because I barely use this room. Should be fine. I am overburdened. Nineteen maximum damage is no good. If this is your first time watching one of these, you'd be like, wait what? Nineteen maximum damage is no good? Uh correct. No good. It can get up to 40. Why did I even pick up a rare glove? Rare gloves are no good. They can, the crafted ones can be better. Oh yeah, I wanted to do a shopping. That's interesting. I wonder if there are any usefulness for this. Whoops. 28 cold resist, 10 maximum damage. Probably not. I'll craft with it. What else happened? Oh, I ate food. Um, yeah, I had uh, two energy drinks today, so that was too bad. Uh, I like, I completely wore out at work. And so I had uh, one in the morning and then one in the afternoon. It's a good thing it was only, well, <laughs> I say a half day. It was eight hours of work of being clocked in, I guess. But it felt like a half day. Uh, so it's a good thing it was a half day, because uh, if I had to go another four or five hours, I would have not made it. I was exhausted. I think maybe I didn't eat enough yesterday. Um, so I'm going to... I might start buying the heavy cream again and mixing the heavy cream in with the milk just to get more calories. I don't know. And I think I digest the milk and cream better than I digest a tin of peanuts. Uh, based on my bowel movements. I am 
overburdened. I thought I picked up two circlets. I guess I thought wrong. That's okay. So yeah, I guess the weather was, you know, the main thing that happened today. I slept poorly, like usual. And I'll be sleeping in a different room today because the, the carpet is peeled up in the room I normally sleep in. And it's probably gonna be like humid and icky in there. I turned the AC much colder than normal. And I think you can hear it, let's see. Audio input, yeah. I think this is my AC. Uh, it's just the fan, I don't. I am overburdened. I have the fan on constantly right now. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that Stay it's making on. cold air. It could just be circulating. Eight to minimum damage, 43 life. I feel like this is a keep and never use. So that's what I'll do. I'll keep it and never use it. <laughs> anyway. Uh, maybe I'll take a screenshot of it for the I can't carry anymore. Uh, upcoming two or three hundred runs drops compilation video. I got paid today. My paycheck came through, I mean, and I saw that it had some overtime on it and a pretty significant amount, so I guess I worked a lot last week. I think uh, about one third of my paycheck was overtime pay. So whatever that works out to when time and a half makes, wait now, one third of my normal pay. So one fourth of my check was overtime pay. Is there something small that I can grab? A small chunk. I can't carry any more. I can't carry anymore. I think I can see everything now. Uh, I'm not going to try to do that math in my head. I already tried like three times just now and was unsuccessful. So. To figure out how many hours that is. Well, let's see. If, if normally, let's try to simplify the numbers down. If normally you make a hundred dollars, now if normally you make seventy-five dollars, and then one-third of that is twenty-five, and so one-quarter of your check was overtime making a hundred dollars. Let's see if I can do that math. At time and a half. My brain literally just stops thinking. All right, no math. I used to be a math tutor and my students' grades would improve dramatically. Um, I think tutoring is one of the easiest jobs that exists. 
especially relative to the pay per hour. The difficult part of tutoring is getting enough clients to actually make a living at it. Uh, yeah, I had, I think over the course of time, I had like six math students who were failing and I took like one to a C, three to Bs and two to As or something like that. And a lot of it's just, uh, you know, simple reteaching. They didn't get it on the first try in the classroom. They don't know how to use their notes to figure it out at home. And so you show them how to use their notes. And then when they say, yes, I understand, um, then you double check, hey, do you actually understand, or are you just saying that so that I'll move on? And sometimes they'll say, oh, I was just saying that so we could move on. And sometimes they'll say, yes, I actually understand. And then you say, okay, then explain it to me. I'm dumb and I don't know anything. And then you act really dumb like you don't know anything. And you ask them lots of questions while they're explaining I am overburdened. all the questions that you think they should have been asking you or that their friends might ask them in school when they teach their friends how to do it. And then their understanding will be better than most of the class. And their grade will go up. And if you tutor them for long enough, like uh, a whole semester or something like, dang, I almost died, something like that, uh, then they will stop lying and telling you they understand when they don't. Uh, they'll ask you to explain it again or a different way. I can't carry anymore. Because they know they actually want you to understand, or you want them to understand before you move on. And when they have had some success in gaining understanding and they see that it works, they're more willing to uh, do it. My sample size is not very large, so I'm sure there's some students that, you know, that wouldn't work for, and you'd have to try something else. Uh, but all the kids I had, that worked for that process. Is this no good? So apparently that has to do with me not being able to figure out how many hours of overtime are on a check when 25% of the check is overtime. There you go. Good story. Oh, this video is long enough. Uh, I still don't have internet. I don't have to identify that charm because Atma, the mealing program, already told me what it does and it was no good. I don't remember, maybe 18 cold resist? Sounds right. Uh, so I guess I'll just like do this run and then stop. Or maybe like one or two more. Interesting. I 
don't remember killing someone other than council members, but I think I just counted to 12. Uh, I guess I see a ghoul board in there. Oh, Horned Helm. Fifty-four mana, twenty-four life. Not good enough. I don't know how high the mana goes, but I know the life goes up to... Forty-five. I am going to try to go to bed earlier today. Because I did run out of steam at work. Which I don't normally do. It's my second time in six weeks since I've been hired here that I just ran out of energy. And so I started working slower to prevent mistakes. Which I don't like to do. I don't like working slow, and I don't like making mistakes. So. Alright, this one will be actually the last run. Here's a cool trick for those who haven't seen this yet. You sell a rejuvenation potion, and then you shift right click and you buy it, and it fills up your belt. This only works in 1.07. If I remember, uh, I think tomorrow I'll do shopping in real time video. I've only done one of those. And the algorithm blessed it and gave it like my second highest views of all videos. But really, I just want to find a, a better weapon for my offhand. Like, if I can get a, a four socket magic weapon with like two barbarian uh, amplified damage, oh boy, that would be nice. Oh boy, wow. I am no wonder I don't ever get excited. If that's how I celebrate. Wow. So one time at work when I was at the grocery store, so I don't remember what happened, but I said, what on earth? And, uh, hey, some Travis boots, but they're no good. Uh, I like the color. I like green boots. Uh, and so I said, what on earth? And one of my coworkers just like busted out laughing immediately. He's like, that is the whitest thing I have ever heard you say. <laughs> okay. And then he made fun of me. Like he would just walk around saying what on earth for like, you know, two weeks after that. And I'll go gamble some of this money and, uh, on circlets and, and that'll finish off this video. Show me the circlet. Steer clay. Thank you. Two more, please. Two more, please. One more, please. Excellent work. Fastest run walk. All res plus 13. I feel like that was probably no good. I hope I didn't just sell something amazing. I think the res goes up to 25. So. Anyway. Good night.